Oh, oh, got him! Got him, look at that one! Let's carry on. Don't stop that beast. Just don't stop it, come on, we can do it, we can do it. How's it going, guys? And welcome to another bullshit. Today I'll show you how to be a pro drifter in a set of Corsa. Quickly, let's go to our forest feedback settings. That's what I'm using, I'm not telling you to use it. Whatever you got set up is up to you. Okay, let's crack on. So, first thing you want is uh, download any drift car mod. Uh, the, no, the, the standard vehicle, uh, standard uh, drift cars are fine, but uh, as not as good as the mods. Reason being is because the mod, uh, the mods got special type of tire which is called medium, which is, doesn't have a lot of grip whatsoever, and then that will help you a lot with uh, sliding about. So I just find a drift track somewhere, whatever that is. There it is. Second of all, you want to jump to uh, track settings and change track surface to old because uh, bad grip and want and and we won't get better food. So you need a shit grip on a track. That's one. We need a car with the shit tires, so you've got shit grip. And then into your driving settings, there uh, you put on whatever you want to. I'm gonna change this because we're doing drifting. We don't know tires. We don't know this, and we'll keep the ABS on. Why not? Let's fucking about. All right. So I'm using me Toyota. Uh, let's go quickly go back to it. Toyota Mark II, JZ, whatever. 410 brake and uh, shit tires, standard. And then we're ready to roll. Okay. So we're in here. If you're using a standard uh, drift vehicle, make sure you change it to street tires. Uh. Uh, that's about it. The, I leave the settings as I am on this car because the optimal for sliding. Uh, so yeah, anything else it does not matter. <coughs> okay, so we in our Toyota. Let's put, put this shit back up there and then this about there. So what is drift? Drift is something that you don't know how to drive properly around a bend and you lose control and then you try and control the vehicle. Nah, that's bullshit. Drift is basically do it having oversteer which means the back wheels lose traction. If you want more information on that, you need to just google a video or youtube or whatever. But anyway, simple fact, you're losing back traction on your back wheels and you want to control, well, counter attack with your steering. That's when we get the slide and then the angle to go around the bend. So quickly I'll show you what we're going to do today. In a Toyota. Alright, this car slides definitely. Absolutely deaf. So we're going to approach this big long turn. That's why I would suggest to practice on it because you've got loads of space. Uh, and be easy for you. So coming to the corner, we want to control the gas pedal and the angle with the steering wheel. Only one go. It takes time. To do a proper nice slide. But after you learn it, you'll be right. I would suggest try avoid uh, letting go of the acceleration pedal as much as you can because that's when the tires get the grip again. And then uh, that's caused to get the grip and lose the cruise control. Only let it, let it go really if you want to change it. Big direction. Well, I was looking somewhere else. If you want to change it, you're coming from turn to left to right, that's why you want to let go of the acceleration pedal to get the grip to turn and then slide again. So drop the clutch. And have a nice lovely drift here. At first, you don't want to go around fast bends too fast. Well, we don't want to go fast because uh, it's hard to control. Just try to go nice and slow. And then maybe use one of these here. Well, that's failed, isn't it? Wow, I'm such a pro drifter, am I? I can't drift myself and try and talk you guys how to fucking do me. <laughs> that could. Anyway, let's stop fucking about as do it properly, so. Give it a nice throttle and angle. See? Easy as that. If you try drift a standard car that is in a, in a game, uh, good luck. Hot time. I, c I barely can do it. 
and uh, because these cars are just simply they have this the angle you need steering angle to do massive be massive uh, drifts you can do it but it's very difficult and it's not going to be most likely a big thing it's gonna be looking, if you probably go more than now you're going to lose all the you want to suffer with a nice angle like this I just took a screenshot. There you go. So let me try use this camera to show you what I'm about. See the angle. I don't know what the car is, so I can't drift it. But if you look on the steering angle of this vehicle, it's insane. So that's what it allows you actually to go around the bends with bigger angle and actually control it the drift better. So let's qu quick uh, quick show off what, what, what you can do with this car, for example. Full throttle. Let go of the throttle. Boom. Just like that, and then you spun out like a dickhead. So anyway, there's not much more I can tell you than how to do it, like that. And then uh, it's up to you now to uh, give it some time and practice it. Well, thanks guys for watching this bullshit. Hopefully you enjoyed this bag of shit. But for now, I will leave you my little shit video editing skill montage of fucking drifting a... Toyota Supra, yeah, so I can just want to show you they actually can use a standard vehicle from this ve from this game that is a drift car and it's still beautiful, it's still usable to do what I showed you what I done in this video. But anyway, stay tuned for more bullshit if you don't like what you're watching, that's fine. And for now, see you later. <laughs>